Welcome everyone in Houston News. Today is April 26, 2018, and this is our daily cryptocurrency market news analysis to where we're here to give you all the news according to the charts. And I know that yesterday gave many people a scare in the cryptocurrency market, but nevertheless, we have recovered quite well from the huge sell-off that came in the market space yesterday. And if you all were a part of our Patreon group and our Facebook group, you all would have known that we said that Bitcoin paired against the USD was going to find support around $8,600. You guys can tell here today on the chart that Bitcoin came all the way down to $8,652.20. So we're pretty close in our analysis for where we expected Bitcoin to find support. And we put out a message or a post in our Facebook group letting everyone know that we're expecting the consolidation to occur there and the market to move higher. So if you were a member of of our patreon group then definitely all would have access to a lot of the updates that we're bringing to the forefront in the cryptocurrency space okay because no one is in this space able to do what we're able to uh, provide to you all with language analysis without the confusion of the charts without having so many indicators placed on our charts wishing and hoping and probably expecting the cryptocurrency to go one way or the other we are simply here to give you all price forward predictions without even knowing what's going to occur in the market space and we do all that by the price bars and the volume and it's very effective and it is definitely something that all traders who delve themselves into this space to know if you're interested in learning more about it then all you have to do is become a member of ours in our patreon group we are building up a community there so we can all teach one another show one another and help one another out into learning this language analysis that is our purpose and that's where we're going to do uh, focus the majority of our energy to those who are truly serious about learning language analysis and just to be in the forefront of any market moves that's what we do here we forecast market movement before they actually occur that's why we have the slogan giving you all the news according to the charts before it happens so we look forward to seeing y'all there. If you're still interested, that's where we're at. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of our content there in that particular space. So definitely it's worthwhile for you to all to come there and join us. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our analysis. Uh, Bitcoin is up 0.31%. Last trade was $9,160.50. Daily price bar for Bitcoin. You can see that the market did move lower early out in trading. We recovered so far today and if the bar closed towards the high of the bar then definitely bitcoin is going to continue to move higher uh looking at the three hour chart you all can see that we did get this very strong push to go a bar resistance is right there around ninety two hundred dollars given the spread of this last completed three hour bar we can possibly consolidate in the short term but nevertheless we're still expecting bitcoin to continue to move higher ninety two hundred dollars is first and then possibly it could come back up to around $9,250 or even $9,300 in trading tomorrow. I'm going to do a quick look at the one hour bar. And again, you can see that we're still moving higher. I'm still expecting Bitcoin to come to $9,200 in the short term. But definitely given the strength and the width of the last completed one hour bar, it definitely looks as if Bitcoin is going to move higher than that. So our analysis is definitely for them to continue to move higher. $9,200 is the first resistance area, but definitely after that, it can go all the way up to $9,300 in trading tomorrow. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. You can see that they're up 1.12%. Last trade was $653.77. We got the same type of bar in Ethereum, just like what we got with Bitcoin. Daily price chart is a precursor of strength bar being reflected. We recovered quite well. Of on Ethereum, just like we did with Bitcoin, the market started out lower, and we're now we're closing toward the high of the bar. Definitely something that you would like to see in the market for us to continue to move higher. Looking at Ethereum again, you can see the strength is in the space. We don't have too much here of a resistance, so definitely once Ethereum continues to move higher, it would definitely shoot up from where it currently is being traded. One hour chart, if we can break this consolidation area right here for Ethereum, then definitely we will shoot all the way back up to and around $670, all the way up to $675. But currently we got to break this $655 area. I'm expecting that to occur due to the fact that we have a very strong push to go up bar. Now we may, there's a slight probability that we may consolidate short term and then shoot back up to higher prices. But nevertheless, I still like what I see here for Ethereum to continue to move higher. 
Now let's do one more. We're going to do a theorem class. We haven't done them for a while. You all can see that they're up 6.19%. Last trade was $20.92. Daily price chart for Ethereum Classic. You all can see that we have another very strong push. We almost encompassed the width of the bar yesterday on today's bar. So that is definitely something that we need to pay attention to in Ethereum Classic. Market definitely has high potential to come back up to $22 at least. But given the fact that we had all that volume and a down bar yesterday to recover to where we are today definitely tells us that Ethereum class is going to be moving higher as well. Looking at the three hour bars, you can see two very strong push to go bars in the market. Coming right here towards resistance around $21, expecting the consolidation to continue, might even come all the way back down to $20.50. But nevertheless, we're still expecting the strength to continue in Ethereum Classic as well. Last look, we'll look at the one hour chart for Ethereum Classic. You all can see where that resistance area is coming in at right there around $21. And that's where we closed on this last one hour bar. So expect that consolidation to continue. But as long as we continue to get more precursors of strength bars, then Ethereum Classic will continue to move to the upside. And the next area of resistance for Ethereum Classic is going to be Possibly right here around $21.28. And then if not that, it's going to come all the way up to $21.50 in trading tomorrow. We do have some sellers coming in on the 30-minute bar. So I'm expecting consolidation to continue. $20.80 needs to hold that support. Ultimately, it might come down to $20.60. I can see that happening too. But overall, daily price chart, three-hour bar, one-hour bar, I still see strength. And I'm still looking for Ethereum Classic to move higher as well. So again, if you guys are interested in learning more about language analysis or again, a different analysis for a multiplicity of altcoins paired against Bitcoin or even the USD, then you have to become a member of ours on our Patreon group. There you can request a certain type of analysis of a cryptocurrency and we'll do a video there and place it in our Patreon group and in our private Facebook group. So if you're interested, uh, $3 a month, only 10 cents a day, which is very minimal for the amount of gains that we have been giving so many of our members in the Patreon group is very minimal for you all to pay that price. But that's all I got for today. Today is April 26, 2018. Quick recap. Market still is giving us strength. Looking for the cryptocurrency space overall to continue to move higher. Make sure you maintain your profitability and I will talk to you all later.